Hey magicians! As you can see, today was a great day for Thor Creek Stables because it's Christmas and of course I asked for nothing but model horses and that's exactly what I got. So these are all the new horses that I got and of course I have to name them and make stalls for them and everything but before I do that I'd like to point out a certain problem that I've noticed with the recent Brayer models and it's this. Look at her eye. What is going on there? I don't know what I don't know what Briar's thinking, but on a lot of the new models, after they're finished painting the eye black, they go in and they add like white paint at the corner to make it look like the horse is looking forward. And it's kind of cute, but the problem is on a real horse, normally that only happens when the horse is scared out of its mind. So it makes all the horses look kind of alarmed, like something bad has just happened or they're running away from a wolf or something. So it's a little weird. And the only horse that the white part of the eye is normally visible on is an Appaloosa. And uh, only one of these horses is an Appaloosa. So clearly that's a problem. And I'm sure that if you collect stable mates, you've noticed the same thing. And maybe it doesn't bother you, but it sure bothers me. So this is just going to be a quick video on how to fix the eyes on these terrified looking little horses. So for this quick fix, there's really only a few things you need. The afflicted equine, some clear nail polish, a teeny tiny paintbrush, and a little bit of black paint, which I've mixed with some water to make it a little easier to work so with. So first step, all we have to do is to take this little paintbrush and put a little bit of paint on it. And then all we have to do is just cover up the white paint. And it really is just a little bit on each side, just to cover up that weird little scary looking crescent of white. And um, while she's drying, we can do a few other horses too, because there were several with the same problem. And this brush is so tiny, it really doesn't hold a lot of paint, so you have to refill it pretty pretty often. All right. Now let's do American Pharaoh. And if you get a little bit too much, you can generally just wipe it off with your thumb. Often I've noticed that a horse that has dark eyes also has dark paint around the eye, like the area around the eye is a little darker than the rest of the face. So even if you do get on a little bit too much black paint, it's really hard to tell. So, we have a few of these ponies with their eyes repainted. Let's do one more. Let's do this girl right here. And then, you have to wait for the paint to dry, but it shouldn't take very long because there's really not that much on there. Okay, so the paint's dry, and the last step is to make the eyes shiny because on the original models, they have a little bit of um, clear paint over the eyes to make them look shiny and real. So we're just gonna redo that because when we panned over it, we lost the shine. So we're gonna take some of this clear nail polish here, and it's best if it has a shiny finish, but it generally look, comes off looking pretty shiny anyway. And we're just gonna put the tiniest little dot, it's probably impossible to see the brush because it's see-through and the background is white. But we're just gonna put a tiny little dot of clear nail polish on each eye, and it dries really fast. And um, when it dries, the eyes are gonna be shiny and they're gonna look real. So there, I'm gonna let her dry. And um, oftentimes I found that the brush on these uh, nail polish bottles is really, really big. So the best way to deal with it is to dip it in and then have a little bit too much on it so there's kind of a drop of it about to come off the edge and then just touch the drop to the eye. Don't actually use the brush because then you'll get it everywhere and it'll look weird. So that's the best way to do it. Or you could just use a toothpick. But toothpicks are also hard because the ends bend and then you get little chips of wood everywhere. So easiest way is just to use a drop coming off the edge of the brush. And so we can do it with our other horses, same thing. Get a little bit of clear nail polish on there and put it on her eye really carefully. And we're gonna let that dry. And this is really, it, it only takes a few minutes. 
and then your horses won't look like they just saw a rattlesnake. So I think it's worth it. And if you don't have clear nail polish, it's really cheap and you can get it at the dollar store. It doesn't have to be like designer brand or anything. Anything will work. And even if you don't have that, if you have a clear finish sealant lying around your house, like polyurethane, that works, but it smells terrible and you should use gloves and stuff and it's kind of a big deal, so it might, it might just be easier to get the nail polish at the dollar store. So, there we go. There are our horses, and we're going to finish up the video with a few quick before and after photos so you can see what a big change this fix makes. <laughs>